Good morning on this very beautiful morning here in Northeast Iowa. Today I'm going to attempt something different. I'm going to go for a hike in the woods uh, looking for wildflowers. I'm going to try my very best not to come home with or not to go home with hundreds of pictures. I'm going to try to shoot just the very best of each of the, of the various species that I can find so that I don't spend hours looking through, through hundreds of files. I want to find just the best of each of the blossoms that I find interesting. So let's go for a hike and see if I can, uh, see if I can do it. Let's go. As you can see, the ground is covered with wildflowers, the, the early spring wildflowers. Spring beauty are everywhere. We've seen some Dutchman's britches, some bloodroot. It's early in the morning, so not everything has even opened up yet. But I still am gonna have a, quite an assortment to choose from. Obviously, the less common species, the more likely it is I'm going to have to focus on them right away. But we'll see. In case you're wondering, I did bring my long lens along just in case I see birds or other wildlife out here. You never know when you're walking in the woods what you might find. My first wildflower species that I photographed was this Dutchman's britches. The light has changed already. I'm glad I got the pictures when I could, but it's right there. Those little white flowers that hang. And assuming the pictures turn out, I will include them in the video. We've got another plant blossom right here. This is called bloodroot. And I'll work on that, and if that one turns out, I'll include it in the video. Already I'm facing challenges with one photo of each species. If you'll take a look at this bloodroot here, you can see that the bloodroot is well lit, but behind it are shadows. If I work my composition correctly, I can feature the blossom and the background will fall dark, which kind of makes it a wildflower art type photo. So if it works out, I will share that image here. I've now found a hepatica with a dark background. It's not a shadow, it's just a log. But there you can see it. So I'm gonna focus on that blossom with the uh, blossom lit, the background dropping off into shadows, and maybe we'll have a nice blossom-only picture featured on the, the image. And if it worked, I'll share it here. Since I'm photographing hepaticas, I found this one, or these two blossoms, that are well lit without shadows in the background but I was able to focus close and have a little bit of the background timber out of focus in the composition, and I'll share that now. I said in the introduction that this would be a tough challenge, and it is, because now I have found a hepatica with a leaf around it. Normally the leaves come later, so I've got the leaf, I've got the couple of blossoms with a tree in the background. I'll shoot pictures of that one and share them now. I haven't moved very far on my hike, but I've already photographed Dutchman's Britches, Bloodroot, Hepatica. A few of the other species that I hope to find the best of today are Spring Beauty, um, Early Growth May Apple, and if I'm lucky, dog tooth violet or trout lily depending how you know it so I'm going to keep looking for those and uh, see what I can come up with now I have found false ruin nimini that I think will work for my project and you can see these blossoms might work with a shadow behind them 
and that clump will work in a different way where I have a more encompassing photo and I'll share those here. All right, I found another interesting clump of false ruin anemones, and it may seem, I don't know, insignificant. I don't know how you, you think about it, but I took interest in the back blossom that had the shadows behind it. And then as I was working with my focus, I realized that if I focus on the blossom in the foreground, then the background goes blurred, and yet you can see the succession. And to me, uh, both images work, and I'm not sure which one I like, so I'm going to share them here, and you guys take a look, see what you think. But those are the little details that I look for as I'm photographing wildflowers. I may or may not have taken care of my uh, target species of the spring beauty. And if you look across the timber floor here, you can see that there's spring beauty everywhere. And I could have just, I could have just grabbed, grabbed uh, some with, with focus and, and be done. But I wanted one that the color was pretty and that I could really feature the delicate beauty of this plant. So I chose this where it's got very rich, pinks with dark shadows and and uh, the timber behind it the, the, this, this moss covered log and i had to focus on it and try to get those stamens in focus i think i did it and i'll share it now for sure i still have two species that i want to find find the right style blossom or plant um, photograph and feature in this video that's the early growth may apple and dogtooth violet or trout lily and i've seen a few may apples but nothing that i think are photo worthy yet and i've seen nothing as far as the dogtooth violet or trout lily but i will keep looking hopefully hopefully i don't get um shut out on them i don't think i will but i don't know and it's quite possible I'll find repeats of the species already featured, of which then I'll be going completely against my initial goal, but I've already done that anyway. So if they're pretty, if they're exceptionally pretty, I'll photograph them. As I've already demonstrated, I'll just keep shooting pictures of them. But let's keep looking and see if I can find them. Every year as I walk around in the timber, this time of year, I find new growth coming up through old forest litter that leaves from last year. And I often wonder, you know, how many times does that happen and do they eventually break down the leaf or, or are they just forever kind of strangled that way? Now this is one version of this picture, it tells it. Or I can get behind it with a little bit of backlighting and get a different view. And I'll let you decide which one's better. I don't know if this will be my only early growth May apple or not, but it will be included. I like the way the sun was hitting it, that it's not all the way open. Maybe have a little bit of background in it. We'll see what the final image is if you take a look here. I'm following a deer trail now through the timber. I want to get to another spot where I'm hoping I may just luck out and find a trout lily, dogtooth violet, however you know them. I don't know. I've seen leaves, the leaves that look just like a trout, but I have not found uh, an early blossom or any anything that looks like that, although I've seen that other people have been finding them, not necessarily here, but they have been finding them. So I will keep looking. But isn't this pretty? 
this many wildflowers, this diversity of wildflowers is indicative of a healthy upland timber. And we just don't see this in too many places, which is one of the reasons I really enjoy coming out here. Look at this covering of spring beauty out here. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to see if I can put together a composition here that shows, focuses in on one spring beauty with uh, the blanket of spring beauties behind it. And if I do, if I'm successful, I'll share it here. Not only did I find a wide shot spring beauty picture, but look at this. I've got spring beauty with a darker area behind it. That should make for a very nice photo. I found something here that in a few weeks will be gorgeous. It's right here. It's this little green three-leaf plant. That's the trillium. Little bud, blossom bud is starting. A few weeks, that'll be pretty if it takes that long. I'll have to check frequently so I don't miss that one or other ones. One thing that I've noticed today is there are many bees and other little insects pollinating wildflowers. I'm hoping this is the year of the great bee recovery because we definitely need it for the health of everybody, not just the bees, but us too, for our earth. And based on what I'm seeing today, boy, there are a lot of pollinators out. Take a look at this. We've got a lot of trout lily, dogtooth violet leaves, but nothing developed enough to even think about having a blossom. So if this is any indication, I may not find a blossom or a flower today here in this timber. But I will keep looking for a while yet. Ladies and gentlemen, I've hit success. I've found the blossoms I've been looking for. In fact, we have a couple of them here. Trout lily or dog tooth violet. I'll shoot some photos of them. And if they turn out, I'll include them in the video. I found them. This effort today, this wildflower photography challenge, really proved to be a little bit more difficult than I expected. I didn't, I didn't think, no, I wasn't sure if I was going to find the trout lily, dogtooth violet or not. Um, but then when I started seeing some leaves with, you know, just a small amount of growth, I thought, well, I might not find any blossoms. But then to come along here and find not one, not two, but three blossoms, this is really special and a good way to end the outing. Um, I'm fairly confident that I should have some nice photos for you or that I've been sharing some nice photos with you here on this video. Um, if not, I'll just come back out and try it again. It's, it's all I need is uh, a reason to come out. And by the way, if I didn't mention it, this is the Ingawanis Woodland. It's um, the former Girl Scout Boy Scout camp. It's now owned by Bremer County Conservation and it's open to the public. And as you can see when you look around, it's just beautiful. So I encourage you, if you can get out, get out. If not, I will try to continue to share places like this with you through my videos and my photos. Since finding this first trout lily dogtooth violet, I have found um, one or two more now, but I didn't stop to photograph them. I'm going to keep going. I've got, a, got other things to do today. I hope this video has been entertaining or informative or kind of giving you an idea of what it's like to come out here and look for wildflowers and uh, maybe give you the inspiration to come out here or go find your own little place of rest and relaxation and enjoying, enjoying uh, what spring brings. If you stuck around this long and enjoy these kinds of videos, I, first off, I thank you for watching. I encourage you to subscribe, click that subscribe button. and. Uh, I do, I do sincerely thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy these. You have a good day.